Today on Beers TV, we're going to show you how to install a Tunes Osmolator switch socket outlet. Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to upgrade our Tunes Osmolator auto top off with a switch socket outlet. This upgrade allows you to utilize any pump for your HEO rather than just the pump that comes with the system. The included pump is great for a vast majority of you, but a few of you might have a huge tank or installations where a slower pump or one with more head pressure might be desirable. You might need to pump water up from the basement or even more common, you might want to use a dosing pump like this one to add your top off water slower. This is particularly valuable to people who are dosing saturated kelp from a reservoir or a reactor where dosing slow is critical. There are two main elements of installation. You can do them in any order you like. We're going to attach the switch socket outlet first. You're going to take the line that would normally be attached to the pump and connect it to the switched outlet. This is the outlet you're going to plug your new pump into. Locate the wire coming out of the switch socket outlet and remove the terminal block by loosening the small screws. Next, insert the wires into the connection on the osmolator control box. Now make sure all the components are unplugged from the wall or any energized electrical connections and unscrew the control box. Inside you'll find a potentiometer or small dial which can be set anywhere from nano to max. The oscillator instructions state that the max setting is required when using the switch socket outlet which is presumably because they want to maximize the signal. This is a good time to note for the rest of you that are using the standard DC pump that comes with the oscillator. This dial will change the speed and height at which the oscillator pumps water. The nano setting has a max pumping height of 1 meter, medium 2.8 meters, and the max will pump water as high as 3.8 meters. They don't state the flow rates at each point, but changing this setting will absolutely change the flow rate at various heights as well. However, when it's used with a switch socket outlet we're installing today, which controls an AC outlet in a simple on-off configuration, will have no impact on the AC pump speed. Just set it at max as the instructions suggest and close the box up. Your Tunes Osmolator is now configured to control this AC outlet rather than the included DC pump, and you're now ready to plug it into basically any aquarium pump you like. You'll notice it's made first for European plugs and uses adapters to switch to American style plugs. Presumably this is because there isn't a high enough volume to produce both. If you have any questions or advice for your fellow reefers, check out the comments area down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we release two new reefing videos every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.